Hi, from this video, I am going to show you how to control electrical items through SMS service. I am using a SIM 800 LGSM module with an Arduino board to do this. But this tutorial will be okay for most of other GSM modules like SIM 900. Okay, before going to the tutorial, I invite you to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the future videos like this. Now let's see what we are going to need. Any type of Arduino board, a GSM module, I am using a SIM 800 L type module. You can see that there is a big capacitor connected with it. I will explain it later. A breadboard. Two LEDs, two 220 ohms resistors, and few jumper wires. Now let's take a look at the GSM module. In this SIM 800L module, there are 6 pins in this side. The pin description is printed on the module. We use this 2200 UF capacitor to keep a stable power supply for the GSM module while it is in transmission bursts. You can see that negative pin of this capacitor is connected with the ground pin of GSM module and positive pin of the capacitor is connected with the VCC pin of GSM module. If we are not using it, that can cause an unstable network connection. Now let's see how to insert SIM card correctly into the GSM module. Insert this side of the SIM card into the module and push it further. You will hear a click sound and it will lock inside it. If you want to remove it, you can push the SIM card again and it will come out easily. This SIM 800 L type GSM module will need a voltage between 3.7 to 4.4 volts. So I will use a buck converter to provide this voltage. Our power source should be able to supply more than 1.5 amperes. You can also use a 18650 rechargeable battery to power the GSM module. Let's build the circuit on the breadboard. Take the GSM module and plug it into the breadboard. Like this. Take the negative terminal of the power source and connect it with the ground pin of the GSM module and the positive terminal of the power source with the VCC pin of GSM module. Now observe the blinking speed of the GSM module LED. After a short time, it will slow down the blinking speed. That means it has registered with the network properly. This slow pattern should be there continuously without changing. If this slow pattern is changing time to time, there may be two reasons for it. First one is unstable or poor GSM network coverage in your area. The second one is power source is failing to provide the sufficient current to the GSM module. Now connect TX pin of the GSM module with 8 pin of Arduino board. Next, connect RX pin with the 9th pin of Arduino.
After that, connect ground pin of GSM module with the ground pin of Arduino board. Now connect both LEDs to the breadboard by connecting their negative pins into a common row. That should be like this. Now connect negative supply of the circuit with the negative pins of LEDs. Then take two resistors and connect them with positive pins of two LEDs separately. Now connect the other ends of resistors with Arduino's pin 2L and pin 13. This is the complete circuit diagram. I will add the link of this diagram in the video description. Now let's look at the Arduino code. I have included this link of the Arduino code in the video description and you can download it. Unzip the file and open the Arduino code. In the upper area of the code, I have included the wiring pattern if you need it. In the top, I have included software serial library. In the next three lines, I have created the software serial object to communicate with the GSM module. Then I have connected digital pin 13 and 12 of the Arduino board to the LED1 and LED2. Next I have defined few variables. Now we come inside to the setup function. There I have set baud rate speed levels for serial communications with serial monitor and GSM module. Then I have defined device 1 and device 2 as output devices. After that I have set both devices into low state. I have used this code section to detect whether the GSM module is connected properly with the Arduino. If it has connected properly with the Arduino, it will show connected message in serial monitor. Then I have used these AT commands to prepare the GSM module into the SMS readable state. Now it is ready to read the incoming messages and it will show in the serial monitor. Now we come inside to the loop function which runs again and again continuously. The core part inside the loop function is reading the serial data 
coming from the GSM module then passes it to the received message method. Inside this received message method, it extracts message sender's number and message body. After that, these two will be showed in the serial monitor. This block of if condition is used to detect the D1 on message which is sent in by the sender to turn on the device 1. When it receives, it will turn on the device 1 pin by putting it into the high state. This if condition is used to track the D1 of command sent by the user to turn off the device 1. These two if conditions are used to turn on and off the device 2. This delay is used to keep a gap between two readings. So this is how the code is working. Now plug the Arduino board to computer and upload the code by selecting correct port and board type. Now it has uploaded properly. Let's open the serial monitor. It verifies the GSM module has connected with the Arduino properly. And now we can send the SMS commands. Now I am sending D1 on message for the SIM. Now let's look at the serial monitor. It will show sender's number, message body and the action taken by the system. At the same time the red LED which represents the device 1 is turning on. Now let's turn on the yellow LED which acts as the device 2. Now I am turning off the first device LED. Now I will turn off the second device LED. This is how the Arduino code and hardware circuit work. In here I have used two LEDs to represent the electrical devices. But we can replace these LEDs by two relay modules and from that we will be able to control any electrical equipment. So I will show you everything that you want to know about relay modules in my next video. Please watch it and learn the way of connecting electrical equipments with relays. So what do you think about this tutorial? Please comment it in the comment section. Please see the video description to join with my all social media platforms. To see future videos like this, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon.